Hello and welcome to the Tigre Pup channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I permanently colored my hair. If this topic interests you then please keep watching. Okay, so my story begins with me trying to do a demi permanent in clear shine on my hair. And um, I did a video. I'm going to try to leave a playlist so that you could um, see everything that's been done so far. What had happened was it actually lightened my hair for some reason. Um, it's actually uh, darker on the top and lighter in the center in the back, okay? And I wasn't very happy with this hair color. You can see the difference. It has like um, two different tones, not to mention my grays going on in here. So uh, I wasn't too happy or too pleased with all of this here. So I decided to go ahead on and um, attempt to temporarily color the hair. Uh, Meaning, I went and used a semi-permanent hair color as opposed to a permanent hair color. And I did a video on that as well. So we're going to talk about that in the next clip. So hold tight. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you I use Clairol Advanced Semi Permanent Hair Color Solution for it's it's like supposed to be for gray hair. You get ev extra coverage and whatnot. As you can see, I have two bottles, six uh, in and four A. And as you can see here, it's like ten dollars a bottle, and I have two, so that's twenty dollars. Now, semi permanent hair colors really don't very last very long. Um, so what had happened was, you know. The color fades after so long. Okay, right here I'm just showing you what the hair looks like before I applied the semi-permanent hair color. Um, this is during processing. Now, that can be kind of expensive because if it fades out, in my case, like every... By the end of the week, this color faded out. And, okay, I'm going to spend $20 every time, every week. So, it kind of like adds up. And apparently, you can't use heat, which is another thing I don't like about this hair color because... Heat helps the color penetrate deeper, which means it's going to last longer. Right here, I'm just showing you the before when I had the demi-permanent hair color in. in I had completed the demi-permanent hair color and the discoloration and whatnot. And uh, right here is the semi-permanent hair color, which it kind of blended a lot, blended it a lot better. However, it discolored my grays, okay? And I wasn't too happy about that. So, I decided to do something a little bit more permanent, if you will. Uh, I'm going to show you the next clip. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the brand of color that I was, uh, I had ultimately decided to use. It's the Redken Color Gels Lacquers. Uh, apparently... Uh, this color is supposed to be a liquid permanent color is fully saturated and gray coverage and fast application i'm honestly i wasn't sh sold on the fast application because i'm doing it on my own head maybe if i was doing it on somebody else's head uh but i have to do it on my own head so it takes me a little bit longer so um anyway that's beside the point but anyway this is the brand that i decided to choose and honestly um yeah we're gonna talk about this in the video but um yeah i just wanted to let you know what i was using okay okay so right here i'm just showing you i use 4na and 4n for my color and i'm going to use a volume 20 which is supposed to be great for gray coverage okay Okay, right here, I'm just showing you, I'm going to be using an applicator bottle and I'm going to use the entire amount because I wasn't sure. Um, I mean, you think a liquid would stretch pretty far, but apparently um, this ratio is one part color and one part developer. 
And so just to make sure I went on ahead and did the full amount, as you can see, I have plenty of product and um, just shaking it up and we're going to get started with my application. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks. If you find my videos beneficial or helpful, consider contributing to my cash app for donations to for supplies and whatnot um, to keep these videos going. It would be greatly appreciated. I'll leave a link in the description section down below. Thanks. Okay, so right here, I'm going to apply the hair color. I'm going to start in the area where uh, most of my gray is concentrated, which is in the very front and around my temples on both sides. So I'm just going to work my way over and we're just going to watch this process uh, here. Okay. And uh, like I said, I'm starting on the mid links and ends because I was afraid I might get like hot roots or something. And uh, so, yeah, that's what you see me applying the hair color here. Uh, the only difference with this hair color is that uh, the application time is like 35 minutes, which is it's, it's different from most colors because usually if you're doing great coverage, it's 45 minutes and an application time of 30 minutes. Um, in my experience, if you just was just coloring your hair, it's 30 minutes and 45 if you were covering gray. So that was uh, something I thought was very strange, but um, we're just going to follow di the directions. Uh, so that's what you see me applying the hair color here. And uh, I'll be back for further commentary. Okay, so now that I've applied the hair color throughout my entire hair, I'm going to go ahead and do my roots now. And I'm concentrating the hair, the color on my gray portions of my hair. And like I said, it's on my temples, uh, 
along my hairline, which is like uh, on both sides of my head. So I'm going to start there first and then I'm just going to apply it throughout the entire head. Uh, apparently, I needed both of these products in order to make this, uh, you know, the volume for my hair by being so curly, but it's fine texture, which means I have less hair per square inch. So I, I thought I might could get away with it, but it was a good thing that I decided to go ahead on and use more than I would have um, thought of, you know, initially, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I'm just applying it to my roots, as you can see here. And I'm trying to show you the back. I'm going by feel because honestly, I cannot see in the back of my head. So if it's wet and moist, uh, I can feel that, um, you know, it's applied in certain areas or whatever. So I'm just emulsifying, oh, emulsifying the color. I don't know if you can see that, but in the bottom, I'm almost running out. So I'm trying to see if I can make it, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's what you see me doing here. And we're just going to watch this process as we go along. Hey, did you know I sell wigs? I sell 5x5 five five closure wigs of varying si cap sizes, cuts, colors, styles, okay? And um, I'm going to be getting into lace frontal, but right now I'm just doing the, the closure wigs because it's easier to maintain and whatnot and it's beginner friendly. So if you were in the market to purchase a closure wig, then please check out my webpage. As you can see at www.tpupbeauty.com. Tpup is short for T Grip Pup Beauty to make it a little bit easier instead of a long uh, text. So check it out. Thanks for watching. T Gray got the wigs, you gotta come through. T Gray's what you need to be a brand new you. Okay, so it's almost time to take the color out. I'm making sure I'm in frame because um, I have a mirror uh, that I was looking at. Anyway, right here, I'm just massaging the hair color along my hairline to avoid uh, stroke marks or brush stains and whatnot. Uh, this is a trick that I learned in beauty school. You need tint to remove tint off of your skin when you're applying a permanent hair color on your hair or even a semi-permanent, doesn't even matter. And what this is going to do is remove that uh, off your hairline so that when you go to shampoo and whatnot, you won't have all of those lines a lot that indicate that your, um, your hair has been colored and whatnot. And this is looking pretty dark. Uh, it's looking actually darker than my hair originally. So we're just going to trust the process and get on with uh, the next step, which is checking out the results. Okay, so right here, I'm attempting to show you what my hair color looked like before I applied the permanent hair color. This is the time when I had the Clairol uh, Advanced Solutions semi-permanent hair color in 6N and 4, 4A, I believe. Yeah, so uh, just showing you the variation in tone. Honestly, it's a lot more uh, blended than it was when I had the demi-permanent hair color. So... I just got really upset with all of the different tones. I got my gray, 
you know, it's just it's just quite a lot. And I wanted my my hair to be even, you know, as much as even as you could get it. And then my grays were being toned with the semi permanent hair color. It was just entirely too much. So I'm just trying to give you a thorough visual of what that looks like uh, before I began. Um, you still see my gray along my hairline by my temples. OK, and um, we have light pieces, dark pieces, but it's a lot more blended and. Um, yeah, so just giving you a total 360 so you can see the dramatic change, okay? Okay, so this is what my hair color is looking like after I shampooed the hair and I'm a little bit kind of like, wow, it's really dark, okay? So um, this is what the color is looking like once I stepped outside in the sun, hopefully. You can see, you know, what's really going on. Uh, my... My hairline is, you know, covered for the most part. Uh, honestly, I'm not dis I'm not very satisfied with that. But as you can see, all of my roots, everything is even. This is what my hair color looked like before I went gray. OK, and this is supposed to be a medium brown. How? So uh, I guess this is where that fully highly saturated color comes in. And right here, I'm just trying to show you my roots. It didn't even color cover my hairline. Uh, it could be because, uh, you know, when I wash my face, maybe that's because, but I was very disappointed in that. But um, anyway, okay, so right here, I'm just showing you some uh, snap screenshots, okay, of pictures that I saw online as far as like the Redken 4NA, and it appears to, uh, the color seems to be true, okay? Uh, it looks very black to me. I don't know. It doesn't look anything like a brown or a hint of brown or anything like that. And I felt like the color was a little like flat matte and it looks so fake and artificial. Uh, honestly, I wasn't very satisfied. Plus it had like a dull appearance and I was looking for a shiny look. Uh, but yeah, uh, these are some of the results. Uh, this one here looks kind of smoky. But then again, I don't know what a hair color looked like before. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to try attempt to do this again. But this time I'm going to try without the 4NA. So that's my solution to this particular problem. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps someone out there. Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.